It is election day here in Texas. It is indeed. News 12's Hannah Gonzalez caught up with Grayson County voters who wanted their voices heard. If you don't vote, you don't have any right to complain about how things come out. From 7 to 7, Texas voters were heading to the polls. It was very smooth, very yeah. nice. Yeah, very organized. Statewide, voters saw 14 propositions that address constitutional amendments. Bell's voter Shelby Noyce was passionate about Proposition 13. If passed, the amendment would increase the mandatory retirement age for Texas judges and justices from 75 to 79. I just want to make sure that people that are representing us um, are up to date as to what's going on and I want to make sure that people can retire at an age where they can enjoy what they've done. Shirley and Dickie Thomas of Sherman also made it to the polls. There's one about raising the pay for teachers. Yep. We have Absolutely. teachers in our family. And also the cutting the property tax as much as possible. So yeah. Oh, yes, we're seniors. <laughs> Proposition 4 is asking for the biggest tax cut in Texas history. It would raise homestead exemptions from 40,000 to 100,000 and allocate more state funds for public education. In Sherman, residents voted on who will represent them on city council for place 4. Darren Holland is the incumbent. The challenger, banker Carlene Chisman. Texoma also saw two school bonds. Gainesville ISD is asking residents to approve $93 million in bonds. And Collinsville ISD is looking for voters to say yes to a $16 million bond. You'll find all election results on KXII.com. Reporting, Hannah Gonzalez, News 12.